everybody, this is Bob Scheffler from Pricom Design, and we're going to talk about the uh, Dream Mixer Active Edition. So come on, let's check out the workbench. First of all, we'll start with a uh, quick overview of our setup here. Um, we have the Dream Mixer here with uh, four different Dream players feeding into it, and the output going to our uh, media speakers, which right here is one of our speakers, and over here is the other speaker. Um, the Dream Mixer is powered from a power supply, which is up here. We're running it off at 12 volts right now. Um, it's drawing about 20 milliamps, which almost all that is actually the green power LED on the Dream Mixer. Um, we've got a Dream Player Pro, two Dream Player Lights, and then a Dream Player Mark II. Um, the Mark II and this uh, light are powered from the power supply as well running off of 9 volts. Um, this light is actually powered off a separate wall transformer, which is running at 9 volts. Um, and the Dream Player Pro is running off of a 12 volt power supply. So a pretty mixed up uh, you know, power setup here, um, just to kind of simulate what would really happen uh, in, your, in your setup or in your application. So on our power supply, you can see it's configured for 9 volts on this side. Uh, these two outputs are feeding uh, one of the Dream Player lights and also to the uh, Dream Player Mark II. Um, this output here is running at 12 volts. This is feeding the Dream Mixer. Okay, we have our Dream Player, uh, or, I'm sorry. We have our Dream Mixer Active Edition set up on our workbench here. We have four stereo inputs. Each one of those inputs is line level. Each of the inputs also has a corresponding volume control to set the level. So you can see one, two, three, four. Coming out of the mixer is actually line level as well. This is to feed our, uh, our powered computer speakers. Um, could also feed actually anything else that takes a line level input. For power, we're using 12 volts DC. The mixer can accept 12 volts up to about 20 volts DC and this uh, needs to be a very clean power source. Um, each one of those inputs adjustable with these knobs um, in full stereo so that as we adjust our level, we can set whatever we want on the input. We've got four different input sources connected. These could be CD players. These could be uh, actually anything at line level. Um, I've got a Dream Player Professional Edition. I've got, that's on my input one. Input 2, I've got a Dream Player Lite. Input 3, I've got a Dream Player uh, MK2. And on input 4, I've got another Dream Player Lite. So I can play any one of these sources and then use the volume control knobs here to set the level. So first I'm going to start a background track on my Dream Player Lite. This will be a kind of a country sound. Now it's a little bit soft for my taste. So we'll bring up the level. See, so we've got a nice, quiet country scene. Little dog barking in the background, um, and that could be our background track that's playing while uh, while uh, our our uh, our railroad or any other kind of application. That's just ba our background track. Um, I'm going to bring in a second input, which is going to be a crossing gate. Now that was kind of a little bit loud for me, so I'm going to turn this one down a little. As you can see, we can adjust our level anywhere we want. So I'm going to set, I'm going to set my level about there. My next input is actually a, a diesel uh, driving by. And we'd like to get a little bit of level out of that one. So now that I've got my levels kind of roughed in and set, I've got my background track running on input two, I've got my crossing gate on input four, and then input three is my train going by. So let's just kind of simulate a crossing gate triggered with a train driving by. So first we'll start our gate. That's gonna loop as long as I'm holding the button.
And then we go back to our nice, quiet, peaceful uh, country scene here. So this is just an example of three different inputs, um, all doing different, different effects or different sounds, um, being mixed and adjusted level-wise um, with the Dream Player, or uh, with the Dream Mixer. Um, you can also play something over here from the, from the Pro, um, just a little excitement uh, in our country scene. Get a little blood curdling scream just for fun. Um, that could be triggered by a, a fascia button on the front of the layout, um, or it could be in a museum application, actually something like uh, an announcement about, about what we're seeing in front of us. So this is quite a simple application, but showing four different inputs, um, each of them with adjustable levels. You can turn down our uh, train going by or turn it up higher. Push that button, let the train fade out, let the gate go, and got some bells here on our, our Pro also. And then we can fade out our background track by stopping that light. So there we go, four different Dream Players all feeding the same set of speakers, triggered effects, um, background tracks, and also being able to adjust all the levels to anything you want. Mixer can also be used for any other application of line level input. Um, this could be used in a theme park. It could be used um, actually literally as an audio mixer um, for any source. Probably not something a, you can want to use as a DJ club mixer. Um, four mounting holes are very handy for mounting it on a panel. Um, unit is two inches by three and a half inches. Um, does run off a of DC and line level audio output. So that was a quick introduction of the Dream Mixer. So that covers the Dream Mixer Active Edition. Um, come back next time and uh, be sure to check out our products on our website at pricom.com.